Hey guys, what's going on? Long time no see, fearless front, finally back. And we are going on a ride today. We're going with the mower outlaw. It's going. He's got a friend here, Justin. What's up? And they just built this thing in the past week, and I think you guys pulled the borderline all nighter to get it ready for today. So we're gonna see, this is the maiden voyage for this machine, and it's actually his first time riding, so this should be interesting. Can't forget Jacob here on the four-wheeler, you cheating bastard. It's all right, you put on a good show last time, I think people enjoyed it, so I hope you bring- has a little bit more to it, so. Plus you borrowed it, so what do you care if you break yeah, it? Exactly. We're gonna get on the trail and go, there should be some good mud. I brought the Murray, as you can see, the off-road lawnmower, and I think that's an important distinction to make because the Sears is definitely the dominant mud mower, so. We're gonna get stuck, and you're gonna pull me out. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of water. Yeah, it was. First time mudding, first time the machine's been in the mud, and he's stuck. That right side is the deepest part, the left side isn't as bad. He's still having a hard time getting through this hole. Looks like they need to work on some belt issues or something. I'm guessing they still have the stock front pulley, which is a no-no when you're in the water, because it's too small to really get any belt friction, which they're experiencing right now. I mean, when he gets, when the wheels move, he moves. But the problem is there's no power behind it because there's no belt ain't working. Oh, shit. 
I tell you, ungoverning this thing and putting that Makuni carb on there are like some of the best mods I've done in a long time. I can't, I couldn't get it out. No, it's, it's wet straight up, you know? Oh, it is. It's all the way up into the transaxle pulley. It must be bent at the end, because I... It's wider, it gets wider at the end. How do we get in there? I don't even oh, know. Pull it straight up now. It's... Dude, it's underneath the pulley. Uh, it's like, firmly wedged. There we go. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Nice. This infamous spot right here is a hole that has gotten pretty much all of us stuck. Swallowed. It swallows tractors. Um, it's just really, really, I don't know where the bottom is. And you usually get hung up on mud before you get to the other side. We have all made it through before though. So it can be done. Jacob here on the four wheelers decided he wants to take the first go at it. So. Cheating. That is cheating. cheating. That doesn't Someone, count. There's another YouTuber that uses his feet a lot. <laughs> Say his name. But he uses his feet a lot, and that's cheating. Here we go. Watch out. Oh! Oh my goodness, that was close. No, literally, I, I saw my front end I going. think the front tire was here and you just- Did it even off. touch? It looked no, like- it didn't but touch. That's I where landed. the tire landed oh, right, right here. There was probably an inch left. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't even think an inch. I, I swore you touched it. Fucking right. All right, so I've decided I'm going to try the mud hole now. Yes, it's a bad idea. Yes, I'm gonna get stuck. Yes, somebody's gonna have to pull me out. Whoa! Doing dual recording. Holy crap. I said don't stall it going in. We've been here before, haven't we? And we're here again. Look at how deep this thing is. She's getting water right now. We gotta get out. Want me to get mine in front of you? Uh, just pull it one way or the other. I gotta keep the uh, car just, like underwater, so I'm sure there's water in my engine. I heard a knock when it died. I heard a very distinct knock. water. So? I know so. 
I heard it glug, and then I heard death and a knock all at the same time, so. All right, so I just pulled the spark plug out of this thing. And what happened when I did that, Bruce? Uh, probably a half a gallon of the tastiest water <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> it's still coming out of the air cleaner. Yeah, um, I can't even squeeze that all the way. I'm gonna have to clean that and then rinse it. That's bad. So yeah, I'm gonna crank it over a bunch of times, try to get as much water out of it as I can. Shut the fuel off. This thing took a huge gulp of some really bad water. <laughs> Look at it all in my tool receipt. Yeah, it is in your this tool This is supposed to stay dry. Yeah, close it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It smells like gas now. You know what we need is like a can of compressed air. What did I tell you? I told you yesterday I want to get the CO2 setup that inflates tires or it's a little blowgun. Oh. And you lock it in and it just empties out a CO2 cartridge. Your rig really? would just yeah. oh my God. be the best. Can you well power an air ratchet? I don't know if we can go <laughs> that far. Maybe an impact gun once or yeah. twice, but. All right, and test to see if she has spark. Oh. Orange. But <laughs> orange is better than nothing. Not blue. Could have massive internal engine failure. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't feel right. It's pulling and pushing. Pull the valve cover. Island of motherfucking broken drains. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I think you're absolutely right. All right. Um, valve train. Test. That all looks good. It's clean looking. Yeah, it smells gas, like gas, whatever. I'll, I'll tell you what we do have, like Justin just said, we can send this genius back to the truck with my keys and get my brand new Makuni. And all you'd have to do is unscrew that and smack mine on. I, you think it's the carb though? I'm just saying it's a possibility. I bet that finicky. cylinder is so wet right now, it just does not want to... And he light. can get my power pack. My power pack's Charger. in the truck, because I didn't stuff it into this thing. I told you it'd be the one thing that we needed that you wouldn't bring. It's in the truck. I've got a pull right. starter. Let me try yanking this thing over a couple times. Maybe I can spin it faster than the actual... All right, let's see. Hey, I'll check that first. You lose those fucking keys, dude, and I swear to God, I will pound the snot out of you. Whoa. Doesn't feel like there's much of a compression stroke there. I, I didn't see any compression stroke there. Let's pull the spark plug out, put a screwdriver in the piston, and then slowly turn it over, make sure that thing's going up and down. I think the piston is because I, I definitely was getting some sort of compression, like, but it was like a sucking and a blowing in the spark plug hole, which... Sounds like my last relationship. It wasn't with a 2002 Murray widebody with a swapped OHP, was it? No, Murray's a gross. I hope my craftsman's oh. get it right. From right there. Yeah, my glasses mm -hmm. are fucked. There's starting fluid on my glasses. Yeah, it's gonna melt them. Those are probably gone now. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, yeah, so everything's going great for me. <laughs> hey, at least you should. <laughs> Free lunch. I hope that's. I need something dad. to drink, dude. You should walk. No, it's, <laughs> I think it's a. Laugh as God's choking to death. <laughs> All right, fearless front, death by bug on the grill. Yes. All right, let's try this again. All right, so despite our best efforts, we've had the carburetor off, we've had the intake manifold off, we've cleaned it out with starting fluid, we've had the valve cover off. <coughs> 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 Uh, that might have been it. We've had the valve cover off, we've had the plug out, we've cleaned this thing out numerous times, we're starting to wonder if the timing is the problem, we've killed the battery, so Bruce is going to pull it over, you can hear it for yourself. It's not even trying the fire. And we're pretty good with engines, and we're sort of befuddled right now. I like that word. It's a good one. Befuddled. <laughs>
Yeah, we're starting to wonder if either A, the head gasket is blown between the crankcase and the uh, piston. Maybe the piston it's rings are blown. Location. Um, or could also be the timing's way off. Could have broken the timing key, and we don't really have. A, I don't think we have a socket to break that off. Even no. if we do, he does have a key. Yeah, I do have a key, but we don't have a socket big enough. So right now, it looks like we're towing this thing out. Unfortunately, we didn't get a very good ride. I'm taking that job. And uh, Bruce is gonna pull me. So that was exciting. <laughs> the Murray is dead. The Murray is dead. So as you know, Bruce is towing me out, and this last hole is one of the worst ones, so we'll see how he does. There you go. Thank you, Mower Outlaw, for dragging my sorry ass on the Hall of Shame all the way through every mud hole. That is a good name for it. I believe Mud King coined that one. Huh? We've all failed on this trail at one time or another. Absolutely. I broke down in pretty much the exact same spot I broke down with this Murray before. The Island of Broken Dreams claims us yet again, or at least me. So we're not really sure what's wrong with it. I'm gonna uh, take it home and see if I can get it tore down and working. But there you go, guys. That's today's video. Sorry about the fail, but you know, it's still kind of interesting in some ways. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Check out Mower Outlaw on YouTube. I'll link his uh, channel in the description. He's got some great footage of me, uh, well, pretty much failing this whole time. <laughs> so be sure to check that out. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys, and stay tuned for the video of when I tear this engine apart and we figure out what actually happened.